If you like running your family on the smell of an oily rag and want to learn the tips and tricks into the perfect bolognese sauce and you want to sneak a truckload of vegetables into your kids without them even knowing, I'm also going to show you how to make white bean dumplings. They're packed full of magnesium, copper and zinc, super good for you and also super high in protein so we're getting that glycemic index down with a dumpling. Oh my god, how good is that? And at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you a pappardelle dish using the same bolognese sauce. Let's get going on the onions and do some cooking. Cut the end of the onion off, leaving the root end detached, and then in half peel them. Now cut them into slices like that, fairly thick. See how my finger is not on top of the knife and my left hand is like a claw holding the root end into the food processor. This is easy, not too fine, not too chunky. Some extra virgin olive oil into the pan, in go the onions, and then we're gonna get some sliced garlic in there. There it goes. Turn the heat down a bit, and let's get the carrots and the celery whizzed up. I've cut them into chunks. Those carrots are gonna really sweeten our sauce up. They're gonna break down, because they're gonna be cooking in the sauce for a long time. Get them in with the onions and the garlic over a medium to high heat. Let's saute them off while stirring them so they don't catch for about six minutes. And then you can see they've really started to soften up. Now we can get them out of the pot. Don't worry if you don't get them all out. It's not going to matter too much. Get as many out as you can. And now we're going to get some more olive oil into that pan. Heat it up and get our mints in. I'm using half pork mince and half beef mince. Lamb would be good too, so use what you like. But the important bit is to get that wooden spoon in and just smash it up. We don't want meatball bolognese. We want that mince to break down and we keep stirring and mashing it up until you'll see this water starts coming out of it. And we keep it up on a medium to high heat and keep cooking. And before you know it, about five minutes, it'll be gone. There we go. Let's try now. Hear that now. Starting to fry, and we're going to get some colour going on here, which is the Maillard effect with the meat. The entire time whilst this mince has been cooking, I've been stirring and mashing. There's no going and answering the phone whilst we're doing this. The tomato paste goes in. Now we stir that up, and we want to scrape the bottom of the pan, really scrape all those bits off the bottom of the pan so they mix in with the tomato. You see the colours coming out. Two cans. Two cans of whole peeled tomatoes go in, and two cans of water. Now for the magic bit, are you ready? This is where you want a beef bouillon or a beef stock concentrate going. Give a good squirt, at least two or three tablespoons. That is flavour. Now we're going to just let that good old veggies get back in, then they're going to cook down. The kids won't even know they're in there, I promise you. But they're going to add flavour, and those carrots are going to sweeten that whole sauce up. Hey team, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel so I can let you know when new videos come up. Now we're going to get some more flavour into this thing. Right, we've got some Worcestershire sauce. That goes in. Now I've got some Italian herbs. If you're not using my Italian herbs, do a mix of dried basil, thyme, parsley and oregano. Lastly, I've got some balsamic vinegar that goes in. If you don't have any balsamic vinegar, get extra. Worcestershire sauce. Now mix it all up. Hey, if you decided to subscribe, thanks team. I'm going to get some salt in now. I will definitely taste it at the end to see if I need more salt or pepper in there. You could always put some cayenne pepper in there if you want to get it spiced up. Now we're going to let this cook for an hour and a half and let's get on with the dumplings. Be sure to turn the heat down a little bit and keep an eye on your bolognese sauce. Whilst we get on with our dumplings, white cannellini beans, strain them off. White beans are, offer a truckload of magnesium. If you're on an anti-wrinkle diet, white beans provide skin protecting antioxidant zinc, copper and protein. It can help fight the wrinkling of skin. I'm getting some nutmeg in there. I'm grating it on a microplane. You can use powdered nutmeg, no problem at all. But I'm grating it in there. Those microplanes are awesome for grating walnuts, almonds or pine nuts to create a snow over a salad. In goes some herb salt. You can use normal salt, doesn't matter. Herb salt's better. One egg goes in and we mix 
that up so it's well combined. Just about 30 seconds will do it. And then throw the flour in. This dumpling mix is so easy. And just mixing it up. This bit doesn't take long until it forms into a ball. And it, you'll see it and you'll know when to stop. And it's right about now we're going to stop the mixer. We're going to pull it out, mold it into a ball. Heaps of flour on the bench, some on top. And then we're going to get a sharp knife. And we're going to cut that into four pieces. There we go, just like that. Loads of flour about. I'm just doing it on the workbench. You could do it on a wooden board. Doesn't matter. With two hands, clump it together like that until you get a sausage. Then put your hands out flat and use them like a rolling pin and just roll it out until you've got a long sausage. The key is here we want small dumplings. And again, plenty of flour about. We don't want them to stick together. So then once they're done, we get some herb salt into some angry boiling water. And it won't take long, they'll rise to the top there. And we want to poach them whilst they're sitting on the top for eight minutes. Then out, strain them off into a strainer and we're ready to go. By the way, if you mix some of these in some olive oil, you can freeze them in a bag for later. Look at that sauce. I tell you, my kitchen smells incredible. I'm going to just grill this to finish it off but you could preheat the oven to 185 degrees if you're cooking it the next day to heat it up. So I've got it into an oven proof dish there. Now I'm gonna get some dumplings in and then I'm gonna stir them into the mix there, just like that. Now the key is two different types of cheese, your favorite cheeses. I'm using Fontel and Parmesan cheese. You could use Grana Padano, it's a cheaper version. It's a little bit salty, which you love that gooey, cheesy saltiness. Now I wanna save some of that bolognese sauce for later. See how I'm putting the Ziploc bag over my hand to create a funnel, getting it in there, and then I'm gonna put it out flat like that and put it in the freezer on a flat surface. Look at that, it's out of the grill, it's incredible. Some chopped Italian parsley on top, whatever herbs you like, it's cheesy, it's delicious. I've now got a bolognese sauce that you could use to make lasagna and cannelloni and lettuce wraps. If you wanted to bulk it out, you could even put some lentils in there when you're cooking it. You're good to go. And you've got some in the freezer, hopefully. And also, bag some dumplings up and freeze them as well. White bean dumplings, a little bit different, but guaranteed easy. The key is, make them nice and small, so they're little bite sizes when you get into it. Mm. I fed eight people, I've got some in the freezer and a little bit left over, a little bit of cheese that I had left over, throwing that in with a sprinkling of smoked paprika and a little drizzle of cream, I heat this up. It takes as long as it takes to cook some pasta really. I've got some pappardelle, a little bit of Italian parsley, a little bit of cheese over the top. Happy days, my goodness. Now, drizzle with balsamic and a little bit of olive oil. If you don't have balsamic, use a little Worcestershire sauce to drizzle around the side. Happy days, thanks for stopping.